Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So guys, I'm really happy to do your lunchtime reading today. I gotta say, because the energy is really, really thick. Um, the masculines, uh, I feel like they're getting cut off okay um, it's a very emotional time with the full moon coming in here um, tomorrow but we're already in the energy okay we're already there um, basically energ energetically um, and it's a very emotional full moon it's the water bear moon uh, there's there's just there's so much going on there's a lot of fighting there's a lot of endings um, there's the masculines are very emotional right now that's what i've been picking up on um all day so anyway <laughs> i'm happy to do the lunchtime reading because it's a happy it's usually um like a playful reading okay this is where i get to call out your signs but also um i call out what you may be having for lunch somebody could be having a hot dog for lunch but this is that masculine energy feeling like a dog they're seriously feeling so bad about themselves right now, guilty, ashamed, um, regretful, remorseful, right? Just a lot of shame, yeah, because they've fallen from grace, okay? They've fallen from grace. They could be doing a whole lot of drinking right now, okay? And this is the night of, this is the night of cups. This is like that emotion, right, starting to spill over. Um, there's going to be some tears here off of this person. Anyway, uh, this reading uh, may not be for all of you, right? Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, kick your feet up, okay? Um, relax, it's your, it's your lunch break, and stick stick to me or with me to the end because i do have your fortune cookie at the end of the video you guys i ordered a whole new box look at all these fortune cookies you gotta see this <laughs> look at this look i ordered a whole box of them you guys just for these readings okay so yeah kick your feet up enjoy your lunch break and thank you everyone for all of your support i love you all so much so yeah, this is definitely a masculine energy who's feeling really bad about themselves. They were tempted by um, a sneaky individual. There's a snake here. So this person was tempted, but I feel like um, there's a big degree of separation. This could be somebody who's alone right now. Um, a karmic storm is coming in, though. If they don't do something about the situation or their feelings, if they don't open up, um, I keep hearing, I got this in the last reading though too, um, I keep hearing Bruno Mars talking to the moon. That's the song that I keep hearing. So that um, could be very significant. I feel like this person, they're so far away from you right now. Um, and they're feeling very bad about the character that they've shown you okay i'm getting the sense that they've realized they've fallen from grace they were tempted by something very toxic it's very it's right here in their face okay just something totally toxic they're feeling like a complete dog here you guys i'm gonna say it and yeah they're doing a lot of drinking because they just can't put out that flame um, this could be a, a possibly a twin flame soulmate connection as well, but they just can't put out the fire for you, okay? They can't. They know they've got to come in and they need to tell you the truth and they need to be a straight shooter, okay? They're feeling very shameful right now, um, really ashamed of themselves right now. This is how they think about themselves, that um, they've fallen from grace and they're a dog. I mean, come on. Yeah, money could be an issue for this person. Maybe they feel like they don't have enough to offer you. Uh, maybe they feel like they, they don't have their money straight. I feel like you do. Um, you're growing something extremely abundant here. And with the sun shining on you just the way it is, right? Um, I feel like they've been shown this somehow, that they know you're very abundant. I'm kind of seeing you a uh, collective in the Nine of Pentacles energy here. This is like the Empress and the Minor Arcana. 
So you're absolutely gorgeous. You're stunning, okay? You're beautiful. Um, and you have worked really hard for your abundance here for all of your money. Look at all of this green. That's all the money that you have. Uh, you're extremely successful with whatever. This could have been a creative project that you've had to nurture and cultivate. And um, it's all paying off for you now. Like they can see too what they've missed out on here. All right. Yeah, you could be eating greens or tacos for lunch. Oh, that sounds good. Tacos sound good. Um, my spirit guides love tacos, so I don't know. We eat a lot of tacos. Um, uh, but yeah, you're 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 done with this. I'm kind of seeing this as you closing up a cycle, right? You're done. You know when to hold them. You you know when to fold them. And I I feel like that's you. You're folding. You're like I'm done. Yeah, you're closing out a cycle here, and you're leaving this person behind, and they know it. They're doing a lot of drinking. You may actually um, hear from this person, but they may that you may get like a drunk phone call or text message. Okay. Um. Yeah. You don't trust them. They've lied to you before. They've put you in a third party before. They left you behind. Um like you were nothing you may even think that this person is still with who, who whoever this snake is but i'm feeling that separation here or it's happening now like we're in that energy for it right we're talking about um this is a time for completions of cycles here and you're closing your cycle up and i feel like that's what's happening with this person too but they want to come back around and you're not going to trust them you see this person as a liar. You're a liar and a cheat, right? That's what I'm hearing. And they lay it on thick. This is kind of like, um, you know, it feels like Knight of Wands energy here, these three cards. This in and out energy, um, coming in, playing you, making you an option, a third party, um, being really sappy about everything, giving you empty promises, right? that's how you see this person like you just there's they never gave you a reason to trust them really at the end of the day you know they showed you they already showed you a side to them that you can't unsee yeah and they i'm I, this person all, all you see them as is somebody who is going to have other options i'm also seeing that this person they may have ha had other options. They've been a dog out here, right? Um, and everything has come to an end. All of, I'm seeing all of these things here as a 10. Each one is a, is a number 10. I feel like there's just no replacing you. I feel like this person has tried with other people and they were in and out of their life like a, like a, a ball, rolling in, rolling back out. All of these other, nothing lasted. You would have been the only one that it would have lasted with. And you were the only one who was worthy of a commitment. Okay? In Empress in the, um, in the Minor Arcana energy, yes. Because you literally have everything that you need and then some. You're happy being single. This is a single person out here working on your abundance and remaining focused okay <laughs> the only thing you don't have excuse me the only thing you don't have is a soulmate at your side that's going to be committed to you loyal dedicated um reliable okay yeah they see you as being the one for them and nobody holds a candle to you there is no comparison there is no replacing you i feel like this person has tried and they can't everything has been like fleeting moments of excitement there and gone and nothing has lasted you were the only one that it would have lasted with and they would have had wish fulfillment okay but i feel like this person you know what they had a chance before they had a chance before, and they gave you sweet, beautiful promises, right, that you just couldn't hold on to. 
I feel like you two came together and then you were separated, but there's in between you, there's that connection, right? It's like it's it's there and it's not going anywhere. The connection it hasn't been severed, okay? Um, but you two have been apart. And this person can see it now, man. They they need to come back together with you. But when you, you know, you could be having grilled cheese, right? Pull the two pieces of cheese, the two pieces of the sandwich apart. And what do you have? The, it's like they, um, the, the cheese wants to hold on, okay? And that's what this person is doing. You know, and I feel like if you were to try to put that sandwich back together, you wouldn't be able to get it firmly together like it was before. So they know after everything that they've done to hurt you, that this thing may not be able to be rekindled. The damage has already been done. This, the wounds, the scars have already been there, reopened, healed, reopened again. You know? Yeah, and I feel like this is the divine out here asking this person, have you learned your lesson? Because now you can see that this was really the one for you. You could be eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. This was really the one for you here. This one. This was your true soulmate connection. Okay? I'm also kind of seeing this as like the moon energy. So this is that, you know, the when they when they realize this that they may not be able to to fix this with you. And you were the true soulmate. I feel that um emotion starting to spill out of your person like they're gonna be crying here in the next week I'm telling you they're gonna be crying and this is somebody who's used to being grounded and stable you know and they're gonna be falling apart buckling at the knees here over this because they really seriously lost the one for them the one that they were supposed to come you know come together with yeah, and now there, um, you could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be having steak for lunch. Okay, steak and maybe some greens, right? A good hearty meal, <laughs> you know? But yeah, um, this person now, they're realizing they should have committed to you when they had a chance. They should have been reliable. They should have been loyal and dedicated, okay? They should have been there to defend you, not boot you out in the cold after treating you like an option and lying to you yeah and using you but they made you feel used instead yeah you could be just finishing up a bag of chips yeah they made you feel very used instead okay um and that's how you see this person now that was the that was the last thing that they showed you about themselves. And since then, they've been showing you that you don't matter to them. So now how is this person going to fix this? Do you see my point? How are they going to fix it? If you here you are a star. This is star energy here. You could be drinking some sparkling water, something like that, or coffee. Yeah, then this is something that they should have rushed in on. They should have moved a lot quicker. And I feel like now they want to. Now they want to come in really fast, realizing they can't replace you. There's no replacing you. No one compares to you. And you're, you're putting yourself out here. This could be you um, even doing something like online dating. You're out here online for everybody to see. You're attracting a lot of attention to yourself. You know, you're the star in everybody's eye or whatever, however you want to see it. You, uh, there's a lot of people who are loving you right now. And this person knows with you being single and abundant and successful and literally everything, okay, it's only a matter of time before you're dating someone new. So they feel like they need to rush in, okay, they feel like they need to hurry because they, they left the one for them out here single and beautiful and abundant and ready for a commitment. Was this person out of their mind? So, you know, yeah, now you know, I feel like they thought maybe they could replace you, okay? 
and they just can't. Yeah, and they've tried. They've tried with many, many people. All right, and they can't replace you. Right? They would you're like their main one, okay? And this person wants to come in now and um and try to get you back, give you some kind of offer. I'm seeing this as the page of pentacles here. You could be dealing with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Um, you could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You could be an Aquarius. You could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. All right, what else can you show me here? Now they want to be they want this to be legit. They want this to be, um, they want you two to come together. Okay. King of Sweets. I feel like they're going to give you, they're going to try to give you some kind of sweet offer. This, this is coming across as like a proposal. I got to say, it feels like a, a proposal for you. They want to make this legit. That's what I just said. So yeah, I feel like this person wants to propose. They don't want you getting away. They don't want you out of their life. They don't want you with anyone else. And they know in order to fix this, they have to offer you something big, something real, right? It needs to be real. It needs to be some kind of proof that they really do, in fact, plan on getting serious. And that, to me, is like a proposal. So I feel like this person is about to propose to you and apologize here, okay? Once again, um, a lot of alcohol in this reading, okay? It looks like the, this person's doing some drinking, getting ready to come in. This could be somebody who may need to travel towards you a distance here with the airplane. So this could be a long distance connection, okay? But by the time they get to you, they're going to be um, a complete emotional wreck, just so you know. It's going to be very emotional here, but they are, man, I'm telling you, this is like emperor energy, um, and this decision is cast iron. Like, it's not going to change. This person knows what they want. They've made their decision. They know that you're the only choice for them. There is no other option, okay? There isn't. Like, they are stuck in their mind. They are steadfast and on a mission to you to get you back. Okay? Because you are their main person. You are their person. You could be eating pizza or cornbread for lunch. But you are their person. Um, you could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, maybe. You could be eating a turkey sandwich for lunch or be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Yeah, they're really worried that you may have someone new here that you're sharing some kind of passion with. Okay, and it's turning this person into a hot mess. Okay, they're really worried that you're going to reject them for somebody new. Okay. They're really concerned about this. They're having some anxiety now. You're going to, um, well, actually, I'm feeling like this person is maybe, they're definitely getting the messages here from the divine, okay? Uh, and I'm feeling like that they could even be trying to, like, you could you could pick up on this person's intuitive messages. Um, like, they're... they're trying to maybe psychically, psychically communicate with you, okay? That was a hard one to get out, but I feel like this is very difficult for them to do. Um, and the divine is like, you know, are you learning a lesson here, right? They're being spiritually led towards you. This is about to go down. Yeah, but they need to be honest about everybody that they've been with the divine is telling them you need to give the, um yep you need to give the collective the whole truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth you need to be honest about um who you've been with and the things that you've done yep your high priestess energy here 
And I feel like this person is worried about that a little bit because you are extremely powerful, um, very, very intuitive and tapped in. And this person's not going to be able to lie because you're going to see right through them. And you're already going to be looking for the lies because you already don't trust them. And with your powerful intuition, this person will get busted in a lie. And if they lie to you, even once, they'll never get another chance with you again. Period. So that's what the divine is telling them. You need to tell the truth about everything that you have been doing. Okay, because if you lie about anything, you won't get another chance with the collective. You'll be told to leave. Yeah, they're getting a lot of pressure. They're feeling the pressure now. Okay, you could be eating a panini, right? I, I just like to say the word. Say it with me. It's fun. Panini. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is why I love these readings, you guys. I can just kind of chill with you for a bit and share some laughs okay um yeah yep so this person is about to come back okay they're about to come back around this is someone from your past they're on their way they know they need to tell the truth and it's going to be a long conversation because there's a lot to pick through here okay um yeah you've got every it, it, it's, it could be any sign. You've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius out here. Okay? So, yeah, it could be any sign. And um, they're going to have to tell the truth this time. They're going to have to tell the truth. See, what I'm seeing here is, um, where is it? Hold on. Didn't I see the cheese come out in this reading? I thought I did. We had the lies out here earlier, and it was in the block of a cheese, in, in a cheese block. Now they need, to, they need to tell the truth about every little thing that they've been doing. Okay, the cheese is all over everything now. They cannot lie anymore. So be expecting this person to come in. They want a second chance with you. They want a new beginning. And they're really praying that you feel the same way about them that they feel about you. They're really praying that they can get that love back. Will you give them your cup? Will you accept this person back into your life? That's what they're praying for. And this person, when they come in, they're going to be a hot mess. It's going to be very emotional, so get ready for a very long emotional talk from this person from your past, okay? And believe me, it's already emotional for them because they know all the things that they've done. They know they've treated you miserably, and they know they've acted like a dog out here, okay? So, yeah, they are already feeling the shame and the guilt and the remorse. Here they come. So get ready for this talk. All right. So, yeah, and you could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, um, heavy on cancer here. You could be a Gemini. You could be an Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I mean, we've got a lot of, we, I, you could be any sign, okay? You could be any sign. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so let's get, um, let's get a fortune cookie, okay? I love this part, you guys, because I'm a very playful person. So, you know, just let me play, right? But let's get you a fortune cookie. What is lunchtime without a fortune cookie? You could be having Chinese food for lunch today. Okay. All right, here we go. You ready? Your fortune for today. <laughs> Past inspirations and experiences will be helpful at work or school. So if you're at work and you're on your lunch break, man, 
um, I don't know, you may run into some kind of issue at work and you're going to have to reflect back on something that you learned a lesson from, okay, an experience that you had. Or maybe you'll be able to um, fix something or do something at work um, remembering what, you know, something, the a way you did it before, something like that, okay? Past inspirations and experiences will be helpful at work or school for whoever that's for. Your lucky numbers for today, 2, 21, 22, 26, 27, 33, if you um, add all of those together, you may come up, you know, do the numerology and break it down. It's going to have significance for you today, okay? Anyway, collective, listen, that's what I have for your lunchtime reading. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. And until next lunchtime, take care of you and peace out.